Hey everyone, Luck Horse here. Well, it's been since mid-2015, but the Edo Prime armor set is back and available with Mag and Nova's unvolting, which started today. I'm gonna to look over the Edo Prime armor set, what parts comprise it, any energy and channeling effects it might have, what it looks like on a number of frames, and some final thoughts. But spoilers for those, the Edo Prime armor set is absolutely glorious. So let's take a look, closer look at the Edo Prime armor set. First up, here's Robbie Rhino wearing the full Edo Prime armor set. The Edo Prime armor set consists of the Edo Prime chest piece, the Edo Prime shoulder plates, and the Edo Prime knee plates. The Edo Prime chest piece is a really nice chest piece, not over the top, but it works really well with a lot of different frames. The Edo Prime shoulder plates share the chest piece's design, are quite large, but at the same time has a clean design, which makes them look really nice. I think the lack of big flat sections in combination with the vertical strips makes the Edo Prime shoulder plates also appear more streamlined, which is another aspect I like. The Edo Prime knee plates are solid and look like they'd withstand any damage thrown at them. I'm not a big fan of, the, say, the leg or knee plates, which look more like ankle guards, and the Edo Prime knee plates don't suffer from looking like ankle guards, that's for sure. All right, so that's a brief look at the components which make up the Edo Prime armor set. Next, let's take a look at some of the energy effects the armor set has. Now, let me just say, if you love energy effects, you're going to love the Edo Prime armor set. You can already see the energy pulsating throughout the various armor pieces, which looks fantastic, but it gets even better. When you bullet jump with your frame, an energy effect envelopes the chest region, which is like a beautiful bonus, especially when you weren't expecting it like I wasn't initially. You see that and you're like, oh, that is cool. Look, in summary, the energy effects side of things, I love the normal energy effects it has going on, but the additional energy effect that envelopes your frame's chest when you bullet jump is just a great additional feature. Now to the channeling effects of the Edo Prime armor set, and oh boy, the channeling effects are lovely. As you can see here, Robbie Rhino is demonstrating the channeling effects, and you can see the lightning-like energy arcing from the Edo Prime armor set around Robbie. Along with the great visuals when channeling, there is some real cool crackling sounds which also occur when the energy arcs pop out. Now, just as a bit of a comparison, here is the Edo Prime armor set, it looks like, and here is the Prisma Edo armor set, and what it looks like. Now the Prisma Edo armor set does have the energy effect which occurs when your frame bullet jumps, but there is no additional energy effect when your frame channels with the Prisma Edo armor set on. Now we're on to taking a look at the Edo Prime armor set on various frames, and let's take a look at it on Volt Prime. Now I've got Volt Prime in his proto skin here, and I think that the Edo Prime armor set works really well with it. I'm more of a sucker for just how many energy effects are going on when you combine the Proto Skin and the Edo Prime armor set together. It's just glorious. Next up, we've got Rhino Prime wearing the Edo Prime chest piece and Edo Prime shoulder plates. I tried the Edo Prime knee plates, but didn't feel they looked as good on Rhino as the Emuji Prime leg plates did, so the Emuji Prime leg plates remained. Now, I described the Edo Prime chest piece as a streamlined chest piece, yet with Rhino's bigger bolt, the chest piece is still thrust forward and still manages to clip with the Rubico Prime here. I'd love to see DE design some form of collision prevention for fashion frame items, which would hopefully stop all aspects of clipping from happening in the first place. Now there's also a nice little fact here, the nice channeling effects for the Edo Prime armor set still occur when Rhino has just the chest and shoulder plates fitted. Moving on, and next up it's Maze's turn where you're also getting a bit of a sneak peek to the Valorum Prime Sigil. I think the Edo Prime armor set fits really well on Mazer and does a good job of covering that space to the outer sides of her shoulder sections which occur due to Mazer's Presidio skin. Next up we've got Equinox and I've got the Edo Prime shoulder and knee plates on her with the Valorum Prime Sigil taking center stage on her chest. Overall, I think the armor pieces work well on Equinox, which includes her various forms. Next up, we've got Revenant sporting the Edo Prime armor set, which makes for an interesting combination of lightning and sentient style energy effects. Again, I think it works really well, but just a note about the knee guards, Rev's little leg bits at the front, which extend from his feet, covers the front base section of the Edo Prime armor guards. But I think this is a really minor thing, and I don't feel it detracts from the look of Rev wearing the Edo Prime armor set at all. Finally, here's Octavia wearing the Edo Prime armor set. The one thing I want to draw attention to is the Edo Prime knee guards, which it fit Octavia really well. Octavia has some real interestingly designed legs which can make it tough for some of the armors to fit without looking like they've just been tacked on. Whereas the Edo Prime knee guards don't suffer from that whatsoever. They fit Octavia really well. In fact, you could almost say they were designed for her. All right, so moving on to the availability side of things for the Edo Prime armor set. Now, the Edo Prime armor set was last available in mid-2015, so that's over three years ago. 
make sure you keep that in mind when thinking about whether you might want to purchase this armor set or not. It's currently available as part of Mag and Nova Prime's Prime Unvaulting, where you can get it as part of the Dual Pack, Nova Prime's Pack, or Nova Prime's Accessory Pack, and make sure that you check out Warframe.com for the pricing in your particular region. Now also remember that the primed accessories like the Edo Prime armor set cannot be grinded for in game so if you want them you will need to buy them and i would especially if there's potentially another three year wait for the armor set to come back so here we are at final thoughts is the edo prime armor set worth getting look that's an easy yes from me just taking into account the edo prime armor set's base design the energy effects it exhibits the channeling effects it also has the fact its pieces look great on so many different frames with the only negative I can really draw being clipping that really is more of an issue with particular frames and weapons equipped than it is the fault of Edo Prime's armor set. It's definitely an easy yes to pick this one up. Just thinking about it for a second and looking at what we've seen in this video, you can definitely understand why the Edo Prime armor set has been one of the most requested fashion frame accessories to return back to Warframe by the Warframe community. Well, that's it for my review of the Edo Prime armor set. What do you think of it? Your frames been been wearing the Edo Prime armor set for years and you want to tell me about it? Or have you just picked it up today and putting it on all of your frames like I've been doing? Well, make sure you let me know in the comments section below or on Twitter at Lucktors. If you're interested in seeing my other videos where I've reviewed assorted Warframe fashion frame accessories, make sure you click on the playlist link which you should see coming up on the screen right now. And in the end guys, thank you so much for watching the Edo Prime armor set video and I hope you're having an awesome time in Warframe. Cheers.